Hi, today we will be doing a quick demo for Xilinx Vivaldo so that you can start practice just after finishing this video. We will go through the process of creating the project and its component. Then we will code a simple BSDL design and we will simulate that in waveforms. So let's start. So we will open Xilinx Vivaldo. So I will search for Vivaldo. It's Vivaldo 2023.1. Click on it. So the application is starting now. So here is the quick menu. It is it is asking for create a project or open a project. We are creating a project. So click on create project. So this is the main window. Simply click on next. Give some project name. By default it is project underscore sequence number. So it is project 3. You can change it to something else. Say marks to underscore 1. You can give the project location. I am leaving this default. Click on next. So select the RTL project at the moment. And then click on next. So this is asking for adding a source or creating a file or creating a source. So we are not adding a file. So we are creating a file. So I will choose create file. So file type is VSGL because we are writing our code in VSGL. Give some file name. Suppose I am saying the file name is mux2 underscore 1 file. Leave live file location as it is. Click on OK. So this is our VSD file named as mux2 underscore 1 file dot VSD. Make sure the target language is VSDL. If you are writing in VSDL, if you are writing in Verilog SDL, choose Verilog. Same for the simulator language, choose VSDL. If you are writing the VSDL code, click on next. So this is asking for add constraints file because we are not working on the FPG at, at the moment. We are just working for the simulation. So we'll leave this blank. Click on next. As I said, we are not working on FPGA. So no, no matter what device or what part you are selecting. So choose any device. Suppose I am selecting Spartan and this. Click on next. So this is the summary. So we created a new RTL project named as mux2 underscore 1. So it says will be created. One source file will be added. We didn't add any constraint files. And this is device we have selected. So simply click on finish. Now it's creating the project. Now this is asking for defining a module. So it has been asked that what is your entity name, what is your architecture name and the input output port list. Okay, so suppose I am saying my entity name is Mux. My architecture name is Behavior. Because we are designing a Mux, so we will have three inputs. So input A, this is input type signal. Another port is B, which is again input type. Select is our third input. And D out is our output type port. So select out. So everything has been defined. Now simply click on OK. So this is creating the file. You can see this is design sources. You created the mux2 underscore one file dot vsd. Under this you have a mux as an entity and behavior as an architecture. So simply double click on this. And it already created the vsdl body for your project or for your module. So it have the library declaration. It have the entity declaration and the architecture declaration too. So we just need to write the behavior of our function, which is mux. So write process inputs in the sensitivity list a comma b comma select. 
now begin say if select equals to 0 then the out gets the value of a else the out gets the value of b and if and process and in the last and architecture which is already written so now it's time to simulate our VSGL code so just navigate to the left panel and you will see the simulation tab here simply click on run simulation now select run behavior simulation okay yes I want you to save now the file is being analyzed and it will tell you if you if it is having any syntax error if not then you will see this page okay in this window we have this is the waveform window where we analyze our design so it has three inputs and one output d out so at the first step we will restart completely okay now this looks good now it's time to give some inputs to the A input, B input and select. I have selected A. Suppose I am giving 0. So select this. Click select binary. Give the value 0. Click OK. Now right click on B. Click on force constant. Select binary. Suppose I am giving 1. To B. Now right click on select, click on force constant, select binary, give some value, suppose 0. Now click OK. Now choose nanosecond and 10. Now click on this button. This will run your simulation for 10 nanosecond of time frame. So click on it. So you see we get some results so our input a is 0 p is 1 select is 0 so if select is 0 d out will get the value of input a so d out is 0 here because input a is 0 now let's try changing the select input now we are changing this to 1 okay now again we need to run it okay so click in this time frame now if you notice that select is 1 now at this particular timestamp at the yellow marker and the out gets the value of input b which is 1 i hope you feel confident now to code your vsdl or verilog sdl designs and simulate them with your own if this video is helpful to you then please like and comment on this video and share this video and don't forget to subscribe for regular updates. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful please give it a like and leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe for regular updates.